Okay, Dallas. Here's the teapot. Now, I, I believe I already sent you the pictures here with the choke was in a million pieces. Here's the story. We don't know what is causing it, but I'll show you what happens when I turn the gas on. Did you make that homemade thing there for that, or somebody else? No, it's not me. See it? See it? See it? Now, we don't know what's causing that. Okay? If it's a float has gone bad, or if it's dirt or whatever... But if it was something that was our fault or our problem, then we're going to go ahead and fix it. We'll the, make it right with We'll you. make it right with you. We're not going to charge you for the busted choke because you didn't know how to package it. But you wouldn't have had to send it in here if it wouldn't have been bad to start with. So if we open it up and it's full of dirt, and we're going, then we're going to be talking. We're going, we're going to be bringing out the stool and sitting down talking. Because if it's full of dirt, that's not our fault. Then you send it in, not packaged correctly, it's not our fault either. But we're not that hard to get along, but we're going to, the carburetor runs perfect. When you we turn the gas off of it, you watch. Now, see, I've got the pump system shut off. You watch. This does it idle. Thing runs, thing runs decent. Okay, bumper. As long as I control the fuel flow over here with my left hand, with this electric, the thing runs fine. The mixtures are correct, the vacuum is correct, everything, the cycling is correct, everything is correct. It's just the flooding. So that's all we got to cure is that. Okay? It's the www.carburetors and more. Doing a teapot with a flooding problem. That's it.